Hi there, my name's Matthew and I'm a member of the COVID-19 support team for Bradford Council. Thank you ever so much for watching the 40th instalment of our blog series and we're going to get straight into it by talking about PPE and testing. So we'd like to first remind you to make sure to get an order in to make sure that you are covered over the winter period for both your testing kits and your PPE. It has been reported to us that some deliveries have gone missed, some of them have been affected slightly and been delayed and we'd like to ask that you act now to make sure that it does and cause issues further down the line. We kind of give you a basic bit of guidance that if you cover yourself so that you, you know you're going to be okay until about mid-January, then you should be good to go and you'll be nicely covered over that winter period. Now, of course, if you're having any issues accessing uh, testing in particular, um, the best thing to do is contact the health protection team uh, for support. If you need any advice on where you can go for that, any contact details, get in touch with us at the COVID-19 support team and we'll gladly help out. Moving on from there, we've also become aware of the fact that agency work has been hard to access. Uh, in particular, uh, because agency workers are actually not doubly vaccinated in some cases. Um, we are currently looking into this. We've got members of the COVID-19 support team who are contacting agencies to understand the situation uh, and, and sort of gather in as much information as we can on what their workforce is like with regards to vaccine figures and things like that. So of course, if you are aware of any agencies where you've experienced difficulties, it would be really useful if you could just bob us an email or drop us a line and let us know which agencies they are. We'll get in touch with them so we can understand any issues um, or resolve any issues um, there and then, you know, that are affecting the Bradford district. And then next up, we'd also like to just talk a bit about visiting professionals. Um, so please be reminded that we do actually have a visiting professionals guidance document, which can be accessed on the provider zone of Connect to Support. I'll pop a link in the description box down below for you as well. It's a really handy document. It's got all sorts on there that will give you a bit of guidance on where people can find information on their vaccine data, um, how they can present it, what's acceptable, what isn't. But a really key one um, is a template so that you can record any um, refusals or emergency situations because if you do have a situation where you have to turn someone away um, or someone has to come in in an emergency situation without showing evidence that does need recording and then you also would need to let us know in the COVID-19 support team just so we are aware of any issues. And then Finally, um, on a similar sort of note, it's worth us just mentioning that you might see that the traffic signs are going to get updated in the next sort of week or so to start displaying a message um, about being doubly va vaccinated as a visiting professional, as we're being told that there are certain professions that just aren't really aware. Of course, for you and I, it's really, really obvious. You know, we've been, uh, it's been a big part of our day job. But for hairdressers, maybe plumbers, um, it's not something they might be entirely aware of. Um, so just to kind of help remedy an issue where, you know, people come along and you haven't turned them away, we're just gonna try and get something out there to spread that message even further. Um, but that's actually everything from me this week. So thank you so much for watching this installment of the vlog series. Please keep an eye out for the bulletin being released. It has a lot of written information, some of which are related to this and more. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified every single time that we upload a video. You can leave me a comment if there's anything you'd like us to discuss in the next one and we'll catch you then. Have a fantastic week. Speak soon.